I've been having just nightmares about democracy. Warning and guarantee. This radio show contains material which a truly free society would neither fear nor suppress. If you keep saying democracy, democracy, democracy over and over again to the people of the world, they'll think that America is for democracy. But I don't know, I don't know how much time you've spent here, but have you seen any while you were here? It's a myth. Democracy is as real as wrestling. Even though we call this country a democracy, it's turning out to be more and more a candy-coated dictatorship. The biggest problem facing Americans today is the uh, resurgence of religi religious fanatic organizations. That's the glory of God on these men! I have this horrible fear that the United States could wend its way toward being a fascist theocracy. The cross converted into a symbol of fascism in the service of politics. This is bad. Usually the more frequently I get the opportunity to go on television and say some stuff, the more POQ is involved. That's the question. <laughs> and, uh, you know, go ahead, bleep it, I don't care. It's really depressing. If you stop and think about trying to get people to pay attention to what the government is doing or actually taking some personal involvement in it, it's hopeless because even if you got them to register, they don't know enough about what's going on to make a decision after they've registered. So maybe it's for the best if they don't register. The thing is, in the United States, the level of education is so low. This is, it's not just a post-literate society, it's a subliterate, innumerate society. They can't read, they can't count, they can't think. There's no, there's no ability to reason here. It has just been bred out. You have to consider the source. Disinformation is not an isolated situation where it'll happen, you know, every once in a while. This country is crawling with disinformation, and all you need is a little common sense, and you can uh, wend your way through it. The emperor isn't wearing any clothes. That's the, the thing that they're most afraid of. Anybody who will say anything that equates to the emperor's not wearing any clothes, for some reason that scares the piss out of them. Well, I think that anybody who takes politics seriously has to realize that <clears throat> unless you have people registered so they can participate in the political process, you don't really have democracy. We live in a country where we're supposed to be free. Take a look at what happened in China. You got a bunch of kids there who want democracy. They don't even know what it is. We supposedly have it here. What do we do? Sit around and go, mm, let somebody else take care of it for me. Yeah because you have a certain uh, group of people in the United States that would like to see the whole idea of democracy phased out. Within the last few years, I've become more and more interested in getting people to vote, and register, and do all this we stuff. We have been doing voter registration at all the concerts on the U.S. tour. I've been active in that, and I'm going, yeah, let's get democracy going. And I'm going, well, wait a minute. We've got a big problem because you can't really have a democracy. If one man's vote equals another man's vote, then one man's education has to equal another man's education so that people have not only the basic machinery to assimilate the data from which they will draw their conclusion and cast their vote. I mean, you have to have that as a basis for a democracy. The administration that we have right now thinks that democracy is so great they want to export it to Latin America or any place else they can ship it. And I happen to think it's so great we ought to have it in the United States. And as far as uh, the traditional institutions of American government, like uh, the House of Representatives and the Senate, I think they should be maintained for entertainment purposes only. I think that instead of uh, sending people there who claim to be legislators, since we seem to have run out of them, and statesmen who ran out of them a long time ago, we basically have these uh, stand-up comics. Historically, people have created all sorts of roadblocks and reasons for why some of us shouldn't be allowed to vote. Reasons like the more bamboozleness that's dumped into the political marketplace, the easier it is for people with evil intentions to get their way, because the public looks at these things or they watch the news and they get so confused and so fed up that they either don't participate at all or just have their decisions made for them by whichever commercial looks the nicest. Go down the post office, register to vote because you can't vote till you register and if you've already registered you have to look at what's going on locally. Don't just wait for the 
you know, the, the presidential election every four years, look at the local stuff and go out there and vote and take care of it. I couldn't in all honesty claim that I've had a major positive result in raising any kind of political consciousness in this country because people who buy rock and roll records want to party. And they don't want to think about boring stuff. Well, this is the this is the greatest democracy in the world. The USA says who? 